An airplane is at an elevation of 3,800 feet. It descends or goes down at a constant rate of 300 feet per mile. Let x equal the number of miles and y equal the elevation in feet. Model the situation above with a table, graph, and equation. Let's first complete the table. When x is zero, the number of miles is zero, and therefore y the elevation is the starting elevation of 3,800 feet, which means when x is zero, y is 3,800. And now from here, because the plane is descending or going down at a constant rate of 300 feet per mile, as x increases by one, y is going to decrease by 300, which means when x is one, y is equal to 3,800 minus 300, which is 3,500. When x is two, y is equal to 3,500 minus 300, which is 3,200. When x is three, y is equal to 3,200 minus 300, or 2,900. And when x is four, y is equal to 2,900 minus 300, which is 2,600. And now we'll go ahead and sketch a graph by plotting these ordered pairs as points on the coordinate plane. The first ordered pair is zero comma 3,800. From the origin, we do not move left and right, we just go up 3,800, which should be here. Notice how this is the vertical or y-intercept. The next ordered pair is one comma 3,500. From the origin, we move right one up 3,500, approximately here. Next, we have two comma 3,200. From the origin, right two up 3,200. The next ordered pair is three comma 2,900. Right three up 2,900. And then we have four comma 2,600. From the origin, right four up 2,600. And now in the homework, you'll sketch a line passing through the five points where the line extends to the left and right forever. But in reality, to model the situation, it would be a line segment where the line segment starts here at the starting elevation and stops on the right when the elevation is zero, which means the plane is on the ground. For my graph, I'll sketch a ray since the elevation of zero is not shown where the ray starts at the starting elevation and then moves to the right. And let's work on determining the equation. Again, the starting elevation is 3,800 feet, and then it decreases at a rate of 300 feet per mile, where x is the number of miles, which means y, the elevation, is equal to 3,800 minus 300 times x, or minus 300x. And we can also write the equation as y equals negative 300x plus 3,800. The second equation is in what's called sloped-intercept form. Just keep in mind the equation, the graph, and the table are only valid in this situation when x, the number of miles, is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 12 and two-thirds, where after 12 and two-thirds miles, the elevation is zero. I hope you found this helpful.